Okay guys, so this is gonna be experimental video. I've already done most of my skincare. I put on the Rodeal like recovery cream because I just had that filler done. I just thought maybe that would be good. But now I'm using the Colleen Rothschild under eye cream. I just actually had to turn the heat on. It's getting cold in here. Okay, so I don't know if I'm gonna use like a primer today. I think I'm just gonna let that cream go. And let's see, I've got on the Lip City Lips Clear that I always use. And so today I want to, I've got Lots of stuff to do. We have we have to go by and sign the papers for clo the closing of the house, our house. And I have to just, they're cleaning our house. They're doing the walkthrough. I have to do a lot of stuff out. So I'm gonna, this is just for my underneath. I've got on, I'll show you my outfit at the end. But I want to do just a pretty kind of um, classy look, but I want to use the new Wayne Goss Luxury Eye Palette in Pearl Moonstone, you guys. I was just saying how I wanted to use like the bluer tones. Beautylish sent this to me and it is gorgeous. I played with it the other day and one thing I noticed, I guess I can throw this away, is before I knew it, I had a smoky eye. So be careful, the grays are darker at least on me, than they appear. And I used the, probably a mistake I did is I used the Essential Pencil in Blue Sapphire. It is gorgeous, but I did my whole top lash line. Let me show you how pretty it is. It is beautiful. And then there's an amethyst one. And I think this time I'm just gonna line the beautiful and they last they're not like smolder from Mac or anything that just goes away so I want to do kind of like a light wash of a gray and then like a sculpted just nice face like full coverage so that is my goal I'm hoping the lighting is better in here plus I have a window the um, back view might not be that good but I didn't think you guys wanted to see just like the back of the door. So I figured we would leave this open. Plus the cats will go crazy if I shut this door. Okay, so I ordered different colors in the Tom Ford, but I still love my original ivory beige. Is this what it is? Look how much I've used of it already. I'm using my Colleen sponge. And I like to do one pump at a time. Some days, I only need two pumps, but if I really want good coverage, I'll use three. And then I just drag it, what's left, down my neck. You can see the coverage is good. Use a new product today from Rodeal. You guys have probably seen it. See, like today, I think I can get away with two pumps. I think I can just use this on my forehead. Maybe, maybe I'll do a half a pump for my forehead. Yeah. But you guys have probably seen the Rodeal Huh, I guess reminded me, maybe we'll use, I don't know where it is. I was thinking we'd use the Rodeal bronzing drops. All of my stuff is everywhere. One, because we just moved. Two, because I'm not used to doing, getting ready in two different bathrooms, but I think I know where I put everything that was on top of there. Anyway, um, I got the Banana Low Lighter which I have seen everybody loving. 
and I'm going to use it and I'm going to show you I've, I've used it many many times I got it before I moved and I want to show you how to use it to it's not a concealer it is a it's like a liquid highlighter with no shimmer so and then I have discovered this is my rodeal brush that I use with the bronzing drops but I like it even with this I think they have like a special brush for this but so I just put a dot here a dot here like I said it's not really concealer it's highlighter and I'm gonna start with that so my dark areas that I want to bring kind of forward and it's got a very like light sounds corny to say weightless but it's a very light it's not necessarily like creamy it's really light did you see how pretty that is it is so pretty if you like to just highlight with not with not any shimmer sorry <laughs> sorry for me to talk and do this and then one thing i have noticed i'm gonna do a little bit up here is you do not have to set it. I think because it's so thin, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go all out. It just dries and it, if you set it, it doesn't look as pretty. I think it looks prettier if you just leave it like that. It's very cool for someone like me that really likes a sculpted face. I'm even gonna put all the dark areas. I'm gonna put a little bit right there too. I've done like all the different lines. It's, I wouldn't do that. Keep it as like a highlighter, just to bring all the dark areas forward. I put some light in there. Like that, isn't that pretty? Love it. And it just got back in stock. It had been sold out forever. Okay, I'm gonna go find my bronzing drops because I'm gonna use those today. Hold on. Okay, I found them <laughs> after going up and down the stairs two times. Okay, so here are the bronzing drops, and I believe they're back in stock too. Last time I told you how much I loved them, I felt bad because then they were out of stock. So I have learned the best way to do this is to get some on your hand like that. Then this is the prettiest color. It's It goes along with the whole sculpting because it's not really bronze. You'll see, it creates like a shadow. Like that. And then I'm just gonna use the rest underneath. Gosh, aren't they pretty? So between the highlighting and those, you're about set. I don't know how much I want to set this. I want to set it really lightly. Okay, I've got the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder in two. So I'm just gonna take this hourglass brush and barely And now let's just use a light pink pretty blush. This is Bobbi Brown Peony. I'm just gonna get a little bit. Put it right on top of my cheekbones like that. Right in between the bronzing drops and the highlighter. Like that. That's pretty much it for the skin. Okay, now let's do, sorry, you can't see me. Now let's do my brows. I've been liking doing them lighter. So I've got the Laura Mercier Blonde. Hope you can see me. I'm just gonna kinda bring them out a little bit. Like that. Do I have a bump right there? I think I do. 
I noticed that my around my chin was looking weird. I was like, what is that? This the skin was looking weird and I figured out it's the mask. I've been having to wear a mask and go in a lot of places lately to get stuff and do stuff and that's what it is. Because I even have a little place around my nose to that perioral stuff starts coming back. Okay, I'm trying to go kind of simple today. Let's see. I'm gonna do a, put a little bit of the Laura Mercier Eye Basics in Buff. Just to kind of give me a little bit of a base. It just makes every eyeshadow seem so much prettier. That. Found it. I was thinking I might use this. This is the smallest one of Wayne's brushes in that artist brush set. So I think I'm going to get a little bit of this lightest gray shimmer and see how that looks. Yesterday, I, or not yesterday, it was the day before, I also put bronzer in my crease first. Oh, look how pretty that is. And it just, I, it was not the look I wanted. I wanted a light look like this. I love how his eyeshadows blend. Okay, so I'm still gonna basically do what I would do with any other eyeshadow. Like that. And I don't think I'm gonna do anything below. I'm debating whether I should use the matte. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of this light matte one just on the edge, like that. Just to give it a little bit more dimension. And that's it, I'm scared. Okay, I might use, I'm gonna use a little bit of this pink sparkly shade on the inner corner. I cannot believe I've got a bump right there. I can't blame that on the mask. I'll blame that on the move. Okay. Okay. Yay! Then I'm going to use the sapphire. That's deep amethyst. I want to use the sapphire. And I never do this, but I'm going to. I'm going to line the upper waterline. Yeah. I'm out of here. Okay. What's Bridget doing? Okay. John's having to bring Bridget up here while I do this. Okay, now let me try to just do a little bit. Like that. Okay, what do you guys think? I think I might put a little bit of that lightest color on my lower. I don't think it'll drag it down. I'm just going to dip the tip right here. Oh yeah, I like that. Let's just do mascara today. Let's just do mascara. Hold on, let me see. Oh, yeah. This one has been good. It's the Marc Jacobs um, Lifting and Volumizing. That'll be perfect. Because I'm not going to put lashes on. do one coat, kind of get them like I want them, which I like my lashes kind of 
messy and chunky. Like that, and then I will go to the other side, do those, and then I'll come back to this side. She can't come in here because of the cat food and the um, litter box is in here, which she's never been a dog to get into the litter box, but she will eat that cat food and it could hurt her now that her liver's bad. She can't have any, because I used to let her just, you know, cheat a little bit and like give her a few pieces when I was feeding them can't do that anymore. Okay, so I think I'm going to just leave them like that. And none on the lower. I don't want to drag my eyes down. I want to keep it like open and fresh today. And for lips, I'm going to take off my gloss. And I think I just want to put like a pink lip gloss on today. Take out my hair clip. And let's see, let's use this one. This is a City Lips in Nude. And it, it's not really opaque. It just is pretty. Just enough coverage. Okay, I think this is the final look. Thank you to Rodial for the banana low light. I love it, I love it. And I've got a discount code I'm gonna put below. Hold on just a second, please. I don't want her to, I don't wanna bring her in here because I don't want her to think that's something that she gets when she cries. So I'm gonna go put on my top and then do my outfit of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the lighting. And so many of you commented that you couldn't hear out of one of your earbuds. Well, we fixed it. It was something in the stereo, like one of the, the top one was going, but the bottom one wasn't. So I guess the left was going and the right wasn't. Bridgie, oh my goodness. So I'll be right back with my outfit of the day.